Last week, a Victorian primary school principal described lessons in his school as rubbish, hollow and empty rhetoric, and with no value whatsoever. So, he closed down the Special Religious Instruction, or SRI, classes. A teacher reported this week who found her son's SRI class taught that dinosaurs never existed, God just planted the fossil record, called the lessons unpalatable, offensive and unacceptable. A third primary school's principal de demanded an apology and is now hosting a departmental investigation after SRI volunteers gave her year six children a Bible zine advising girls how to avoid making their nipples a distraction and temptation to men, explaining that wives must submit to husbands and instructing children never to act on homosexual feelings. She called the material completely inappropriate against fundamental school values and said it smacks in the face of everything we do. Since the mainline churches largely vacated Australian SRI in frustration, hellfire preachers and evolution deniers often filled the void. For example, asked whether they thought the Bible should be taught as fact and therefore accepted without too much questioning, Parents and education professionals favoured questioning, whereas SRI volunteers tended towards biblical inerrancy, the questioning-proof view that the entire text of the Bible is free from error of any kind. In almost a quarter of the schools, Byrne found teaching to the effect that students or their families or friends would burn in hell if they didn't believe the volunteers' version. In a quarter of the schools sampled, volunteers distributed creation kits with DVDs and colouring books promoting the idea that God created the world in six days and the world is 6,000 years old. Now, defenders of the current system maintain that these are all aberrations. Yvonne Patterson, CEO of Access Ministries, said that her organisation was extremely disappointed by her volunteers' nipple advice Bible zine and would continue to investigate how it happened. But inviting religious volunteers into schools who are chosen for their faith, not educational qualifications, makes it impossible to screen out such travesties before they happen. Instead, bewildered parents are unsure where to go after the event. Complaints to schools get deflected to provider organisations and they have often declared intentions such as to use public schools as a mission field, Patterson, or impacting New South Wales government schools with the gospel so that many more young lives will be transformed through the Lord Jesus Christ. Accesses New South Wales counterpart Gen R8 Ministries.